new dive style watch from Alto 8 is on my desk ready for us to have a look at it, so let's just do it. You saw the box, nothing special about it, but still it's a decent looking cardboard outer box and then uh, that leather texture case with the watch in it. And that's probably enough about the packaging, because what we are looking at today is a new Alto 8 Coral Stewart dive style watch. And when I'm saying dive style, I might need to explain myself. It is not a diver watch. Even though their whole campaign is about uh, corals and paying tribute to the ocean with the with, with this nice engraving uh, on the back, you can't rely on this as on a diver watch. It simply just doesn't have the required specifications for that status. But other than that, it's a really nice and solid watch. So let's jump into details and start with some numbers. We've got here a 45 to 45 mm square design stainless steel case with a thickness of 13 mm. A uh, dial is covered with sapphire crystal, we have 22mm rubber strap that goes down to 20 to the buckle. Um, the strap has quick release system and there is 300 meters of water resistance and the sign of that we can see on the dial. Now let's take a closer look at the case, because it's a square design case and uh, in dive style watches it's I'd say rather unusual. Normally. Uh, there would be round shaped cases with probably fewer edges and fewer types of finishing because uh, what we are seeing here is some sort of a step design with a uh, brush top of the bezel and then uh, mirror polished edges that are going to another brushed step. Um, so yeah, multi finish levels and this square shape uh, makes this Coral Stewart kind of stand out from other dive style watches and the other thing that helps them stand out is that interesting round shaped dial with coral texture, especially in my case with this blue gradient color that gets lighter as it goes in. This dial is accompanied by applied indices and a date window with a high polished frame at the 3 o'clock position and an internal rotating bezel which can be operated by the screw down crown at 9 o'clock. What else is interesting about this watch, it has two perfectly symmetrical screw down crowns on both sides of the case. And if the right one operates the movement, you, you, you can adjust uh, the date and hands. The left crown, let's unscrew this. This accesses the internal rotating bezel that goes clockwise and anti-clockwise, which is a bit weird. Bezel on dive watches are supposed to go only anti-clockwise, but as I mentioned before, and this is a only dive style watch, it has nothing to do uh, with dive watches. What, al what also distinguishes them is that there is no loom on this 12 o'clock mark on the bezel, which has to be on dive watches. And that is the loom and what it looks like in complete darkness. As you can see, there is a loom on indices and hands, but there is no loom on 12 o'clock mark. And by the way, I haven't said a word about the movement yet, and I'm of course obliged to do that. I mean, that's an automatic watch, so uh, of course. So there is Seiko NH36 inside, and the specifications say that it has 24 joules, it beats 21,600 vibrations per hour, the power reserve of this movement is 41 hours, and the accuracy range is within minus 20 to plus 40 seconds per day, which is pretty normal uh, and pretty standard for movements like and uh, this. I mean, it's not like a cheap movement or something. Um, it's a basic movement that is used by Seiko and many other brands, uh, including Alto 8, uh, like today. Um, what I'm saying is, this specific watch that I'm holding right now showed me an accuracy of plus 7 seconds a day, which is close to chronometrical results and power reserve of 45 hours. I'm probably lucky with the sample, but that's a great result for, for, for this type of movement. Uh, case back. Case back is screwed down to the case with the four screws, vertically brushed and has this nice engraving of first generation scuba diver helmets, along with uh, some text about materials and movement. As I said earlier, the strap is 22 millimeters with a quick release system, and I'd be honest guys, it's not that quick. I mean, normally um, 
Normally there is a pin that sticks out and you can easily remove the strap. Here, I mean the pin is here, but to get there you need to push a bit and to catch that pin, yeah. So not that uh, quick uh, release system, because look, look at the pin, it just doesn't stick out at all. And, and what's with that hole, I mean what's with that empty space uh, inside the case? I mean that's a new watch and um, it's clean there, yeah? But imagine in a year of active wearing it'll be just full of full of dirt. I don't know, it probably has something to do with the uh, leveled, multi-level step design. But yeah, I'm just letting you know that there is a space that might get full of dirt. And let's put it back. And again, it's not that easy when... Yeah, finally. So quick release system that is not really quick, um, but uh, yeah, it's there. You can change um, the strap to another one if you want. 22 millimeters uh, allows that. And there is a quite simple but nice stainless steel buckle with the Alter 8 logo on it. Yeah, it's simple but nice, yeah. And I think it's time to put it on my wrist. I've got a 17 centimeters wrist. I'm a quite skinny person and that is that is relatively big watch 45 to 45 millimeters but because it doesn't have any lugs I mean it has lugs but they are part of the case so they don't make the watch any taller uh, it's it feels pretty normal even on on my skinny wrist that soft and comfortable rubber strap with well, let's be honest modest stainless steel buckle um, Let's summarize, guys. A pretty unique in terms of design watch, especially when it comes to the dial uh, with this nice coral texture and gradient color. And the dial is still round while the case is in square design, um, multi-finished, uh, many levels, uh, two symmetrical crowns, one of which is completely useless uh, when wearing the watch. I mean, you, you can't operate the crown when wearing the watch and especially underwater imagine being underwater uh, wearing some gloves now this crown uh, I mean in general this watch is not uh, a dive a dive watch um, so yeah no diving but on a summer holiday swimming in a hotel's pool or shallow waters of seas and oceans why not 300 meters of water resistance is here uh, stainless steel case sapphire crystal and and nice design that's it about this old 8 Coral Stewart. If you have any thoughts about it, please share them in the comment section below. And bye for now.